Oh, I see you're cutting out Easter eggs. Very nice. But how come they're all round? These are, these are not Easter eggs, Bernie. These are Valentine hearts. I'm sorry. Oops, oops, oops. See? When I open them up, they turn into hearts. Aha, the old folded Easter egg turns into a Valentine heart trick. I suppose, Bernie. What? Where, where did Valentine's Day come from anyhow? Oh, well, I think St. Valentine scared all the snakes out of Norway by practicing his clarinet. And then, when they were all gone, he sent little cards to all his friends telling them that it was safe to come back. What? Well. What? Why do I ask you these questions? You, uh, you want me to tell you the answer? Yeah, yeah, but you never do when you tell me things like that. I really wonder about you, Bernie. Well, I do my best. You certainly do. Okay, okay, let me try once more. Huh? Let me just let's try this one on you. I, I may have had my facts confused. May you may have, Bernie. Okay. St. Valentine's was very lonesome one time when he was all alone traveling through Morocco. What? Wait. And he missed his girlfriend most of all. <laughs> Close your mouth, Benny. Breathe through your nose. St. <laughs> Valentine's knew that lots of other guys must be sending his beloved little hearts with lace and maybe candy that February. So he decided to send more little hearts than all the others put together. <laughs> but the post office in Morocco was very small, and they couldn't deliver that many hearts. <laughs> Benny, get off the floor. So he tied each heart to a snake tail, and then began playing his clarinet. And off they went to his sweetheart in Norway. Norway? Well? Norway? Listen, I, this is too much. I was going to write Bible verses in these valentines. So you still can. For God so loved the world, Bernie, that he sent his only son. I was thinking that, that the Gospel of John is like God's valentine to us, and he says, be mine. You can write that. Write that. Go ahead and write that. But why do you have to answer a harmless question? An innocent, an innocent bug like me asks you a harmless question, and you have to answer it, Bernie. Why? Why? Never mind what I said. I'm probably half wrong anyway. Half wrong? Half wrong? Two-thirds wrong, then, okay? Two-thirds wrong. Two-thirds wrong. I'm not a stone. I'm not a stick. I'm not a bone. I'm not a brick. I'm not that.